Good day. Today I'm going to present you a uh, little project that I made and uh, it is a um, NeoPixel driver and actually tester at the same time in order to test NeoPixel LED which are individually addressable via one wire um, programmable. You can program each LED the way you want and it only uses one wire. And there is a lot of way that you can program these, but since you can order lots of LEDs and then having a different company, you actually want to know if uh, the color you're going to punch in is going to be the right color you want. And also, I wanted to be able to load sequence via an SD card, because I was intending to use this as a Christmas tree light. Not with uh, surface mount, there are uh, some through hole uh, LEDs available, but uh, that's going to be for later. So there's the driver, and it doesn't need much. This is a uh, 1.8 inch SPI TFT LCD, 128 by 160 pixel, with an SD card uh, slot. You actually don't really need the SD, you can just not have it and then load your sequence predetermine your sequence and then just uh, play them and then here there's a an Arduino mini pro running at 5 volt and 16 megahertz a little few push button to go into the menus change some values DC jack and then just a little tree pin output that goes directly to the LED LED board this is just a test board and uh, I've sold her 40 of these and uh, there's a little filtering cap here to smooth out the power that comes in because each LED has a constant power supply built in inside of them and uh, if you have a few of these connected since they're all in parallel they do tend to uh, interfere with one another and they'll either crash the 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 driver in the pixel or make your Arduino crash because they draw too much. So you have to be very careful having a few filtering cap here and there. Make sure that your power supply is very powerful. I have a 5 volt 2 amps power supply here and it works uh, just fine. And then uh, I'm going to power it up. So right off the bat, it comes with a little nice name, NeoPixel. Total LED is 40. This is load from the RAM, uh, the ROM, that uh, as soon as it boots, it takes the number that was previously uh, loaded, and it just reloads it and then initialize the strip. And as I can see, you can see load sequence, color picker, and a few of uh, demo that actually comes with NeoPixel and settings of the strip. That's the actual settings of uh, the LED strip that's connected. So if I go to settings of the strip, I can see that I can change uh, the value. I can increase them and reduce them. And the program won't record it unless the number is different than the one that was previously in there. So I'm not gonna change it because I do have 40 LED. If I go to uh, color picker, that means that I can actually select red. And then I can go to the green. And the same for the blue, Ooh, or sorry, I, for the blue. And all three color at the same time. And if you notice, there is a black square right here. And that is actually the color representation on the screen. Uh, the problem is this screen is not the same bit uh, bit quality than the LED, so it doesn't really display uh, color properly, but as you can see, it is white. And well, of course, the LEDs are blinding, and that's not even full power. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, dim it down so that I don't blind the camera and we have a nice white 
and then you can actually choose the color and on the keypad here the middle button is the enter and back function and then up and down is for the color and then left and right will actually cycle through uh, one color or all the color depending on uh, So I can actually just change one and have any color I want. And then if I press the middle button, it'll actually turn off all the LED and return to the menu. A little bit of focus would be nice. There we go. And if I go to Rainbow Cycle, it'll actually be blinding very very bright let's see if i can just put a piece of paper on top of these leds and uh, you can see that it will cycle through uh well the color of the rainbow and then if we look at the screen there's actually a speed and it dis it displays the current speed right now and i can vary it to from one to a lot of number and it'll just uh, slow down the way that the colors are actually changing. If I put it to very fast, you can see it actually goes fast. I'll go back and the same for rainbow cycle. The rainbow cycle is actually most of the colors display on the all, all the pixel. It's kind of nice for for a display of colors or a mood light. The only thing is there, these LEDs are very, very, very bright. So if you do intend to use this function, well, make sure you can, uh, you don't look at them. And then the theater chase is actually just a little function that it, it's, it's a nice. There we go. Theater chase. It'll actually, uh, oh, right now it's going a little too fast. And it will actually choose the color that was uh, preset by the color picker. And if you go on ahead and do color wipe, uh, it's the same thing as well. And this is the types of problem you will happen if you don't have filtering. The LED just kind of crash over there. Easy fix. Reset the, the board and reinitialize the LED. I need to work on that function. But let's pick a red and then color wipe. And it'll just basically cycle through and I can change the speed. I can make it go very fast. And then the final function, which probably everybody is waiting for, load sequence. So there is a little sequence, and basically it goes from LED1 to uh, I, I, a few, because I do have to write um, each LED by hand, so it's a little uh, complicated. That's where the color picker comes in handy. If I want to choose a color, I can actually just, uh, <coughs> just display it. And here we go, sequence is loaded, and it goes from one to, to about here. And then as soon as it it ends, it just says end of data file. I uh, haven't included a loop function because apparently, uh, well, it take it does take quite a amount of RAM <clears throat> and the screen with the SD, with the NeoPixel actually consume lots of RAM. So you have to be careful if you intend to do something like that. But um, <clears throat> it's fairly f flexible. You, you can do you can do pretty much anything. I can uh, I know some people will actually do a LED painter with uh, a setup like that, and you do just load a few uh, sequence, and then it goes it goes and displayed it, and then you can paint to do, doing a long exposure a long exposure of the camera. So uh, well. 
thank you for watching, and uh, this is my uh, NeoPixel driver. Have a good day.